school to prison pipeline is a documented phenomena that's happening in the United States. And for example, 7 million youth were suspended from school in 2011, 2012. And those youth are three times more likely to then get involved in the justice system. So we, we've, we've created a pipeline to prison for mostly vulnerable youth, youth of color, versus a pipeline to college and meaningful work. One of the ways that we can stop the school to prison pipeline is by having the youth influencers who are interacting with youth, whether it's in a school, social services, the justice system, be more trauma-informed mentors and use best practices around how am I gonna connect with this youth, make them feel safe, help them know I'm a trusted resource and help them design better, a better future and also in some cases a better, you know, better behavior or better goals. You know, one of the things that happens in schools, why youth in this demographic are suspended, is these teachers and other folks at the school could justify the suspension saying, well, they're defiant, they're disrespectful. And so what we do is we redefine respect for the adults and help them understand that, is it defiance or is it trauma? And if it's trauma, there's actually a way, without being a therapist or a PhD, that you could change your way of being to increase protective factors for them. So, you know, yes, maybe they experienced adverse childhood experiences, but you can also increase protective factors. And that's really listening, compassion. Um, the root meaning of the word respect is to look again. So looking again. And a single adult can be the gatekeeper to a youth's future. So instead of suspending or instead of referring them down to the principal's office, what can I do in the moment to coach them, to keep them in the circle versus getting into that pipeline? Mm -hmm.